All right, so chicken hearts, that's what we're gonna try out today. We might have additional, a little bit bigger tissue. We try next week, we'll just kind of see how it goes. All right, then some conditions that you guys mentioned. Um, I think most people wanted to try the acid. So basically tissue soaked in acid. So we've got that. Um, we're gonna use vinegar, which actually is really high acidity. It's only like, I think it's like two, like pH of two. So it's pretty acidic. It's called glacial acetic acid is actually the chemical term for it. Um, so it's vinegar, nothing super fancy. So I have um, basically just a dish here. I kind of labeled everything. I don't know if you can see it. This is just, I'm gonna have the, the heart just sort of soak in the vinegar just for the few minutes that we're waiting here. So let me pour this, the vinegar always kind of stinks. All right, so I'm just gonna sort of let some of this kind of rest in the vinegar. Let me go on to side. All right. So I'm just gonna kind of put one heart in at a time. These hearts, if you haven't seen these close up, huh, I'm sure that's exactly what you wanna have to see these really close up. Um, you can see actually all the different valves. I don't really wanna to touch this, but I'm going to. So um, a little bit of phys physiology. So this is a chicken heart and you have multiple valves. So um, like where blood flows in and out of. If you're in any of like the um, anatomy and physiology, you probably did uh, a little bit of mini dissection or you will be doing a dissection even if it's virtually with a, I'm guessing it's a sheep heart. So obviously these are super small. Um, they're a little bit hard to do dissections on, but I guess technically you could. All right, so we're just gonna leave that in our vinegar. Uh, another couple conditions that you had suggested we try is submerged in water. So we've got our vinegar one here. Uh, and I have, I made just these little toothpicks with labels on them. So I'm, I'm literally gonna stab our little heart here um, because we wanna make sure that we keep track of what's what. Anytime you do an experimental condition, you always want to control. So I'm just gonna put, this is, these are just containers just so we can bring them outside. This is just gonna be a control. So this is untreated. So I'm gonna take another chicken heart and we're literally just leaving that off to the side as our untreated control. And again, we wanna label it so that we don't lose track of what these conditions are. Okay, next one we wanna do, you guys said to try is submerging it in water. So I'm actually just gonna have it outside. When we bring it outside, I'm gonna leave it just in this bin. And so we're gonna have it water submerged. So this is just plain old water and Hopefully it doesn't evaporate. I'll kind of check it and probably have to refill the water each day, but we'll see. Again, we're just gonna submerge that. And since this condition's a little bit different because it's here in a plastic bucket, maybe the insects might have a harder time getting into here because they can't just crawl right up to it. So we need another control. So I have another bin that's exactly the same size. And this one is just going to have no water at all but we need that control because it's gonna be in a different container. So we want the containers to be the same so that we know if we have more or less flies on this one that's submerged in water, it's not because of the container itself. Okay, so here's our control for that. And again, we're gonna have our labels in the hearts. I'm literally stabbing it. So I guess I am creating a little bit of trauma with these. That one already is looking pretty gross, okay. All right, that label is going to fall in the water. Okay, so we've got our acid treated and the control. We've got our water submerged and the control. These are all going to go just out in the sun. I have like a, you'll see it, but I've got like a little um, container out there. It's like a dog crate type thing, just so that vultures don't get to it. Because when I did this a couple years ago, vultures got to it like right away and basically picked apart all the tissue and there wasn't much left. So we're going to keep these a little bit more secured and protected. So this is just uh, one that's gonna be for shade. So again, another heart, and I'm going to label it. This one's gonna go in the shades just so we can keep track of what's what. And, I, and outside again, you'll see, but I basically created a little, um, use like tin foil just to kind of make some shade in part of that area. Um, somebody else said that they wanted to bury this. So I've got just some soil mixture here and I'm literally just going to have the chicken heart. And I do want to make sure that I have my label on it so we can see where it is and 
basically unearth it when we need to. Gross. Gross. And then um, and then we're going to bury it. And I will, when we put it outside, I'll make sure it's fully buried as well. So there's our buried condition versus just being out in the open. And then the last one we wanted to do, actually there's two. Um, well, let's just do this one, is um, trauma. So does having additional trauma like stabbed or cuts, does that cause more or less insects to get to that, that tissue? So uh, I'm going to just take my chicken heart and I'm, I'm going to kind of cut it up, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of make some, some marks and lines in it and just kind of cause some trauma to it. Okay, and we're gonna see if this encourages more insects or discourages insects from getting to it. And again, the whole purpose is we want accurate estimates of the time of death. And you know, death, uh, we're just basically talking about just tissue that's decaying, much like these chicken hearts are going to just be decaying. All right, so our conditions are set. I'm going to put these all in a tray and hope they don't spill on our way outside. Well, actually, you know what? I might hold it off there and I might actually, I'll bring you guys outside, but I'm not going to bring these with because I only got two hands and I sure don't want to spill this stuff all over the school floor. That would be bad. So I'm going to bring you guys outside so you can see how we're going to set this up. And then next time we're actually together, you'll see it, everything set up together. And, um, and then we're gonna start checking it to make sure if we see any new insect growth or any differences in decay and how these things are decaying based on these conditions, then we'll sort of know how to attribute it. Like, is it because it was in the shade versus in the sun? Maybe there's more or less insects. We'll be able to determine, determine the age of the insects. So we wanna determine the species that show up and the age of the insects. So that's kind of what our goal is every time we go out to check on these. And I'm gonna bring you guys out to check on these. Um, and I'm also going to, if we do have any insects that we find, we're gonna collect some so we can identify them. And so we'll be using um, some digital microscopes so that you guys can see nice up and close what exactly these insects look like. All right, so I'm gonna bring you outside, so bear with me as we wander through the school. Luckily, it's pretty close. Um, as we're doing this, you guys can kind of take a check at today's folder um, and I'm hoping the Wi-Fi holds true as I enter outside because otherwise this will be a fruitless effort. So in today's folder you're going to see the posting for the um, the body farm video and then the assessment questions and again it's not a quiz or anything it's just a little bit easier way to do multiple choice. I will note I will kind of little disclaimer the body firm video can be pretty graphic, like it's graphic. It's showing real decomposition. So if it's something that you like, after a couple of minutes you get into it and you're like, I just can't. Send me an email, I can give you an alternate assignment. I don't want you to kind of put yourself at a, you know, exposed to things that you're really not comfortable with because it is, it is graphic. All right, so here we go, we're going outside. Thanks for going on this little mini tour with me. And what we kind of have, it's, it's sort of back here, we're just set up, it's really pretty basic. Um, but what we have, and if you're in school um, or in the area, I mean, you can come check this out. You know, don't kind of mess with our conditions once they get out here, but feel free to like come by here and just sort of see what's going on. See if you can identify without really touching all the stuff, because believe me, you're not gonna want to. See if you can identify if there's insects around it, what kind they might be. Uh, we will sort of be essentially dissecting them or, or just trying to at least identify the species. So our conditions are going to just be in here. So we've got like, we've got um, some areas that's kind of just shaded. So that's where our shaded area is going to go. This just holds everything down so it don't fly away. And then we're basically just going to put all of our chicken hearts sort of on this tray. I have a second one. So if they don't fit, I'll put a second one out here. Um, and we're just going to come back basically each day, kind of see what happens. So again, if you're at school, um, after school, before school, feel free to pop by if you're not in school. You know, obviously keep social distance. You gotta have a mask on if you're on campus. But if you wanna just come by and like, just see what's happening, don't mess with anything. Don't actually touch it. And like I said, you're not gonna want to. It's gonna reek like really, really bad. So, yikes. Um, so anyway, that's kind of our 
set up. So next time we talk on Tuesday, it'll have been about four days and I'll set up a new one on Monday too because a four day gap is kind of a long time to like not see what's going on out there. So I will set up some new conditions on Monday. So you'll see kind of like a fresh look at what's going on. Um, and again, I might use slightly bigger tissue. Okay, thank you for going on the little tour with me. So for the rest of today, you guys are going to be basically finishing up the body farm, um, not finishing up, but doing the body farm documentary and answering those questions that go with it. Okay, I'm excited about this experiment. It's gonna be great. Um, you guys are missing out on the scent of death. So I guess that's good. Um, but I will be sure to tell you exactly how it's going. And again, we're gonna kinda over the next probably week or two, kinda keep up with this and see exactly what's happening.